In this web wave review, I'm going to show you everything you need to know about the software web wave. If you have any questions, please comment them down below and I'll also be sure to leave a discount and link down there so you can always get your money's worth for WebWave. WebWave is a software where you can actually build professional custom websites tailored to any client without having to code. This is what you should actually see once you have first signed up. And then later in the video, I'll actually show you what you'd see once you first log in or when you're actually logging in again. So for any beginners, this is what you should see once you first sign up. It should take you to a page where you can actually choose a template or start with a blank page. These are the templates that WebWave actually shows you. You have a gaming template, pet care, wedding photography, and all of the other ones like that. There's loads of templates. I'm not going to read through them all. However, scrolling through them right now, you can actually see that there are well-established templates on the WebWave software. So going back up to the top, we're personally for this review, just going to go with the gaming one and then see where it takes us from there. This is labeled as free and there are some templates that you can actually buy on WebWave. Right here, you can actually see the live preview. And then if you want to go ahead and just choose it, you choose it with this green button, choose this template. We're going to quickly look at the live preview by clicking on that button. Once you go ahead and actually click on live preview, it should take you to a whole different tab where it actually gives you a live preview like you're actually on the website itself. Up here, you can choose whether you want to see it on a desktop view, iPad view, phone view, or even phone vertical view. We're just going to keep it on the desktop view for now. Right here, you can actually see that it is a great software and really well for a website. It runs really well. Personally, for me, it is a bit laggy. I don't know if that's on my end or it could be the WebWave software in general. But once you scroll past all the animations, though, for me, it has smoothed out and it does look really well. So overall, the information and the pictures and the way this website is actually laid out does look really good and professional for a WebWave website. Moving on back on this page, you'd actually want to go ahead and actually choose your template now or even click on the blank page. For this review, I'm actually going to go ahead and choose a blank page and then later on we may look through the templates. And here we go, we are on the main WebWave software. This is what you should see once you're actually logging in again and now you should be on it once you first signed up and actually clicked one of those options back on the other page. So this is the main page and I'm going to quickly go through each feature and then throughout the review I'm going to dive deeper into each feature. So straight off the bat all the way up here on the top left is the web wave logo once you hover over that you can actually go back to the main panel or even create a new website if you want to scrap the one you are on below that this is just kind of like the same layout for any other photo editor kind of like photoshop however it is for a website so you can choose the settings you can have our rectangles images icons text website menu button shopping area or even some extras once you hover over these three dots these numbers right here are actually just the measurements for your website and then this top bar up here you can either choose to edit it with all of these options articles and blog store settings where you can have all your settings for your website and then help and then right here you can actually click on this button for any form of teaching for this software you can actually go ahead and click on this button to the right of that where it has your website backups if you have any website backups all the way here you can choose whether you want to be on the home page or any of these other pages that you want to add or be on to the right of that you have which view you are on whether it's the desktop tablet phone sideways or even phone upwards and then all the way to the right hand side you have your website preview view publish page save it and then publish it with this big green button in the top right hand corner all the way to the right you have your settings panel this is where you can have your page settings and your website settings by just clicking between these and it has all of your settings and designs for each of the pages not too much going on it is pretty simplistic once you read through it and actually get a feel for the website on here you can see any general settings language versions website backgrounds information and textiles and other stuff like that for the page you can see the same things any page backgrounds publication settings seo settings the thumbnail and any more settings that you want to go through so once you're on this you can have a play about with this and actually learn the software on your own terms or you can go ahead and watch videos through here like i said and it should give you a tutorial for the software i'm going back to the template section so i can show you what the webway software 
actually has and what it can create and how it has created that. All the way back at the template section, you can see we are now going to choose a template. We're going to either pick one of these. Personally, I'm just going to go with the gaming one that we've previewed before because we previewed it before. However, you can go ahead and click on any others and preview them as well. So I'm going to go ahead and click choose this template and it should take a few seconds to load the template. Now, once your website has actually loaded, you can see what you can actually create, whether you are on a blank page or even a template. So it pretty much just shows you how you can get your website up and how far you can go with the WebWave software. So I'm going to go and click on each element and each feature and show each feature and how it actually worked. So if you go ahead and click on this text element, so if you go ahead and click on this text element, you can see we can actually edit the text by this text settings right here on the right hand side. Once you click edit, you can go ahead and actually just type in any of this. Welcome to the world of new games. Let's just change it for the sake of it. And it should save it. And then once you click off it, it should save it to your website. Again, you can scroll through, click on any of these that you want, see which elements it is, and pretty much just get a feel for the software on your own terms. Using the templates, it is pretty easy to actually create a website. You can click on any images and actually replace it with your own. As you can see, it's coming up all the way here in the right hand corner, and you can scroll through these and see which position and sizes you can actually have them as. You can move them by just clicking and dragging it about. Same with the buttons, you can go ahead and drag these anywhere you want. However, they are linked to here. Moving on through anything that appears, you can actually click on it and change any settings up here in the top left hand corner of each section. Once you click on that, you can change the image, change the appearance, how to use this element in case you don't know how to use it, copy it, paste anything, cut it, delete it, copy object style, paste object style, bring it forward or even send it backwards. So overall, it is pretty much like any other editing software for pictures and websites. You can click on any text, any images, any buttons, and change which one does which. So scrolling on all the way back to the top, you can actually click on any of these. These are just images, and you can actually see where everything goes. Clicking on buttons and elements, you can actually click on them right there fully, or if you want to edit the actual text itself, you just have to click on the text like that, and then you can go ahead and edit them just like anything else. So once you actually click on it fully, you can see you can actually edit, and set where they go and what settings each button actually does. Overall, there are the main features for the WebWave software. Again, you probably have to go through this on your own and see which area suits you and what type of website you want to create. Again, I'm just going through the main features, like the settings, what you can do, how you can edit text and move images about, and that's pretty much it. So you can go ahead and change these templates or you can go ahead and do one from scratch if you feel confident. All the things on the left hand side and the top bar are the same if you were on a template or even making one yourself. And that is pretty much it for the WebWave software. And there you go, that is it for the WebWave software review. Overall, I think it is a great software for making websites, probably better than most other website softwares. It has a wide range of templates and a really good layout for creating softwares. Really easy to use once you actually get to know it and a lot of good opportunities and features that I like. A few features that I do like personally, again, is how many good templates there are and how easy it is to use once you actually fiddle about with it and see what you like best. Would I recommend this to anyone? Yes, I absolutely would. Anyone looking to create a website, I would definitely recommend them to the WebWave software over a lot of other website softwares that you usually have to pay a lot of money for. WebWave is a great integrated software and I do love it myself. Thank you for watching. I'll see you next time.